Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. So today we're back at Matt's place doing an update video. It has been two and a couple of days, two weeks and a couple of days. So it's looking pretty green. Man, shot into gear. So there's heaps and heaps of new shoots coming up from little runners and stuff. I'll see if I'll find some for you and show an example in a second, but this is the difference it makes when you top dress and keep the water up to a bit. Give it a good hit of fertilizer. What else did we do? Scap it down and core aerated as well. If you missed those other videos, check back. I've actually got a playlist from running this Renault series here. But his kayak has really kicked into gear. I mean, the temperatures have really bumped up too. Today's 25 degrees here in Orange, which is pretty warm for this time of year for us. So, yeah, it's good. But it's looking very, very healthy. I mean, there's a couple of bear patches. But you can see heaps of new shoots coming up in those bear patches there as well. So if you have a quick look just here, you can see all these new little shoots that are popping up in here. So they look really fresh and they're only got a really tiny root system on them, as you can see that. But they're actually, and the way you can tell that they are kike, for starters, it looks like kike. Plus, they're coming off those runners just there as well. Sorry, Matt, for ruining your lawn. But yeah, there's heaps of new little shoots coming up. So that shows you how much you can bury that. Like that runner was down about two inches under that soil and it's still shooting up like that. You can see, few bare patches here and there that's just where we went a lot heavier and up against here we went pretty heavy you can see it's actually shot through like two and a bit weeks as i said to you guys before kaiku is crazy crazy stuff up against the house here we went absolutely nuts starting to come through it's a bit shadier here so it will struggle a little bit more but it's coming good you can see some of it's a little bit yellow though because it hasn't photosynthesized much but it is shooting back through kaiku is crazy stuff Look at that, we went that deep with it, down to my knuckle, and it's still shooting back through. Blows my mind. So this here is ready for a mow today. When you can tell it's time for a mow is basically when it looks like it's time for a mow. So it's looking a little bit overgrown like this, a little bit hairy, hairy McCleary. So I'm gonna give it a bit of a mow. So Matt has just started at the back, so let's go out there. But yeah, it doesn't matter if there's a bit of dirt around still, you can still chop the top off. Just make sure the ground isn't like soggy and moist so you don't get wheel tracks everywhere. But yeah, it's ready for a trim because it looks like it. That's the best way to tell. Right, so Matt's into it. Started his first pass here. He's just going to miss these sections that aren't growing too much. Now, remember this part before I only had runners in it and you can start to see little shoots starting to come up. That's actually a bit of nut grass. Whoops. But there is shoots starting to come up in certain areas around here. Here we go. Heaps of shoots here coming up off those runners down in there. Now there goes Matt the man, cruising along, got his safety protection in. Look at that, it's looking pretty lush. Looking pretty good and this will only thicken up the more that it gets a bit of heat in it and the more that the sun hits it. I basically just said the same thing twice just then. <laughs> and the more that Matt actually mows it as well. And you can see up against the fence line here, it does struggle a bit more because it's getting a bit more shade. See it's still a slightly in dormancy. That's cool though, it'll come better as the season moves along. Now as you can tell, the back is struggling a little bit more, only because it was a bit thinner in the first place anyway. But it's still cool to mow it because as I said, actually mowing it will promote some lateral growth on this lawn as well. Remember we gave it a kick of fertilizer so it is really starting to creep anyway. You can see it in quite a few areas as well. But yeah, it's, it's a goer, it's going well. I'm just gonna hide around the corner a bit so you can actually hear me properly. But when you do your first mower after doing a renovation, make sure you use a rotary mower and not your cylinder mower or your real mower, whatever you call it, because you don't want to get sand in the blade um, and also in the reel as well, because you know you're going to damage it. And Matt's actually picking up, pick, picking up a bit of dirt with that catcher as well. He's just emptied one to the bin and you can see there's a bit of dirt in there. Mmm, check that bad boy out. So Matt and I went up to Sydney and picked this up from All My Spares. Thanks to Brett there for organising this for us. But Matt is, yoohoo, he's starting to use a real mile on his lawn. Check out this mad wooden roller. But yeah, these Mazport Olympic 400s are great little mowers. This is going to be awesome to transfer on his lawn over the next couple of months. So it'll be really good for you guys to see the transition of how the lawn actually goes from using a rodeo mower to that real mower there. Matt's got some really old pictures of his lawn which I'll show you guys from what it used to look like and how we get it looking this year after using a real mower and putting in a proper fertiliser program and with some soil amendments and you know 
just some extra cool stuff. Okay, so I'll wrap the video up there. Thanks guys so much for watching. I'm gonna leave Matt to mow his lawn now because you know, I don't need to film him mowing his lawn. Probably could, but I'm not going to. Anyway, he'll be cutting this out the front afterwards. Now my house is over there. I've just gotten back from going to Lawn Fest um, up in Queensland with the Australian Lawn Fanatics. Really good time, really enjoyed myself, but I came back to the lawn and there is a couple of issues going on in there. So I'm going to attack those tomorrow and show you guys how the lawn's looking. It's a bit overgrown as well, but there's a few weeds coming up. We're well, not coming up, they were there already. It's power, winter grass, which is there. Um, so I've got to attack that still. And the disease that I had, which I told you guys was take or patch, which is actually brown patches, still there so we'll deal with that but anyway thanks guys so much for watching check out the other videos in this playlist i'll be doing more at matt's lawn remember so this is a kaikuyu lawn just for you guys who are new to this series so follow along if you like and yeah subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and you have a good week for you guys who stuck around to the end you can see my lawn's a bit overgrown a bit of this is actually annual rye which i'm just gonna have to pull it out by hand with that but it's easy to get out and a little bit of power it's not too bad at the front it's mostly at the back and then we've got this disease <laughs>